Today I'm going to be reviewing all five of the special Ruby Red 40th Anniversary Hendrick Motorsports die casts, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on how each one of them looks with the design and what I think about the actual paint scheme tribute themselves. So first of all, here we go. These are all five of them that have been released. Four of them, obviously, are the ones that race in real life. The uh, four Hendrick Motorsports drivers, William Byron, Kyle Larson, Alex Bowman, and Chase Elliott. And then this is the special show car. I guess this is real, too, because some people that I've uh, seen say that they've seen like the actual like full-size replica show car at certain races. I'm guessing at Martinsville. But uh, I never saw it in person. I went to two races this year. I went to Talladega back in the uh, spring, and I went to Watkins Glen uh, in September, and I didn't see the uh, show car anywhere. I mean, I walked around the um, whole fan zone and everything outside of the track, and they had other cars throughout the whole area. Like, I got pictures of, like, Daniel Hamrick's 31, Ross Chastain's number one Bush Light, all those other cars, but I never saw this car. Um, so they must have only had it for, like, Martinsville or whatever, because this is where all these cars paint schemes, the Ruby Red Special Tribute, all ran at the spring Martinsville race. So, I don't know. But uh, if anyone has seen this in real life, let me know, because I want to try and find an actual picture of it, which I have yet to see. So, anyways, let's talk about the four other cars in the set, which are, like I said, the main drivers. William Byron in the XL to number 24. Kyle Larson in the uh, Hendrick Cars, number five, Alex Bowman in the Ally, and Chase Elliott in the Unifirst. This is the four-pack, not the individual one, so this is the four-car set that you can get. I, I don't know if you can still get this or not. Um, it might be sold out already, but I got this a couple months ago. So it's the four-car special Hendrick Motorsports 40th anniversary set. Here is the back of the package. You can see there's the information on the set there, and you can see all pictures of the actual cars with their drivers in real life so there's um kyle larson chase elliott oh well how did they do <laughs> i'm looking at this and looking through my camera i'm like wait a minute they didn't put bowman or byron there's bowman's and then there's byron's there and then you can read the back there if you want to see it you can see all four of them there henry motorsports 40th anniversary they all raced at martinsville speedway in april and uh pretty exciting pretty cool i must say so um these four come together you can't get um this with the set this is you have to buy separate you can get it in the authentics line or you know just buy it individually here here's the um arc gold series um package it comes in which you can just buy wherever so there's that so all right anyways um i guess we can briefly review this before i review the other cars as you can see it's got the beautiful red ruby um paint scheme on it it is just it's gorgeous i love this and i have the uh triple raced version uh 124 set of the 924 and a 5 coming in pre-order so i am very excited to get that and see the race details so anyways here's the hendrick motorsports 40th anniversary logo est 1984 that's their logo you can see the same thing on the windshield banner you got the chevy logo on the roof you got the big Hendrick Motorsports 40 on the door there with some black and white designs. HendrickCars.com on the back here. If my camera will focus. 40 on the deck lid. Hendrick Motorsports on the back window. Hendrick Motorsports again with Camaro on the uh, back. And then the same thing on the other side. So, And then underneath it, it says 2024 Camaro ZL1 used under license. All right, so let's see if I can get the camera adjusted to where I can review each one of these real quick individually. All right, I think this will work. So first of all, here's William Byron's number 24, the Exalta Ruby Red. He actually won in this paint scheme, so this is the winning car from that Martinsville race, this uh, 24 40th anniversary Hendrix car. It is awesome, and he is the lucky... Uh, one of the final four lucky drivers to race for the championship this Sunday at Phoenix. It could have been Christopher Bell, but he pulled a Ross Chastain and rolled the wall and got disqualified, pushing Byron back in it. So that's two drivers that got disqualified for advancing in the playoffs this year. Alex Bowman for having a light car, I guess, from the Roval, which advanced him into the round of eight. And then he got disqualified and it put Joey Logano back in it, which I don't understand. And then Bell did the wall thing, like I just said, that Chastain did at Martinsville. That's an illegal move. And sure enough, they said he got disqualified for doing that. It was unsafe or whatever they said. And that allowed Byron to get back in. And now he is in his championship four. And he should have won it last year, too. So, um, 
yeah, I, I don't know. If he wins it this year, good for him. He should have won it last year. Um, but I think Tyler Reddick's going to win it this year. And we'll get to the championship four at the end. But here's the hood. Exalta. Beautiful ruby red. You got the flames there with the Chevy on the uh, grill there. Such a beautiful car. This is like one of my all-time favorite Exalta paint schemes. See the flames there if my camera wants to focus. There we go. You can see the Z. I think that's zip and relay at the bottom there. Um, window net there. I don't think this has... No, this was before. Um, this was made before they raced, so there's no winner stickers because he won the Daytona 500 Liberty University at the back there. X-Elta in black with the Camaro and the 24 and Valvoline on the back there. All of them have the 40th anniversary number 40 on the deck lid. Byron on the top. The big 24 on the roof. Just a beautiful car overall. So there's that. Next, we'll take a look at Chase Elliott's Unifirst. So they went with the Unifirst sponsor on this one. Um, it's This one's unique because it's got the actual like sea green teal 9 outline on it which is weird because it does not match with the um red at all it looks really weird with that teal green around the nine but it's still it's still nice and it's got that beautiful like i said metal uh, ruby red paint and that's all that matters is the paint really because of how nice it looks on all these cars so anyways unifirst solution services and uniforms not in order but that's what you can see underneath where it says unifirst nine you got hooters gone coca-cola surprisingly a lot of people say coca-cola does not like it when they put it on their die cast but they're doing it for chase elliott and lumar and napa in the back there 40th anniversary logo again up here on the post um and the valvoline kelly blue book up here chase elliott's name up there the teal nine which i don't like at all the 40 on the deck lid it says unifirst on the bumper again with camaro and the nine in the corner and the same thing on the other side. So very nice. Again, if, if it wasn't for the teal nine, and if it was just like a regular black nine with like maybe the white outline on it, I'd like it a lot more. But, uh, you know, whatever. They did it. Next up, let's do Kyle Larson's, his HendrickCars.com scheme. Same old, same old scheme, just with um, out the blue. It's the ruby red. Again, probably my favorite look at the Hendrick cars. I mean, if this was the primary, I would love this car way more than it is right now. I mean, I love the blue, don't get me wrong, but um, the red on this just looks perfect. Something about Larson and red cars I like. His Valvoline car is awesome too, so um, same thing. Um, nothing real special on this one other than what the blue was is the red, and uh, it, it looks really good, the red, white, and blue. I mean, this is a nice car, so this one's probably my favorite one out of the four. Um, that got made, Hendrick Cars there, the 40 on the deck lid again, five Larson, hiring techs, and there's that. And now, Alex Bowman's number 48, which doesn't have the nice, shiny, metallic red like these ones. Hopefully you can see it as well as I'm trying to show it, but this one's kind of got like a flat uh, paint. It doesn't sparkle, and it doesn't stand out. It's like a just flat, regular red. I mean... I don't know. Can you even tell? Maybe there. It's a lot lighter. It's not the same paint used on the, the other four here. It's it's different, but, I mean, they tried. I don't know why they couldn't do it with this, but... Anyways, here's the Ally 48, the regular paint scheme. You can kind of see the designs. Maybe it's because it's all the designs with the like, Ally shapes and whatnot that they went with, and they couldn't make it, like, actually metallic like these ones. But anyways, they, they still did a good job with it. It's red nonetheless. So LI48. I'm sure the, the car in real life looked a lot better than the die cast that they have right here. So, um, But uh, it's still really nice looking. I like it. It's different. And that's what matters. So anyways, that's it. That's the Hendrick Motorsports five car set. Technically four. But if you want to get the, uh, the show car, you got to get that separate. So... There's that, and now, briefly, I want to talk about the Championship 4, because William Byron, like I said, is one of those four. He has, I think, three wins this season. He won the Daytona 500, he won Circuit of the Americas, and one more race. Martinsville, duh. So, those are the three races he won this year, and now he's in the Championship 4. And like I said, he should have won it last year because he was the most dominant driver, but... 
You know, it's pretty cool seeing the Daytona 500 uh, winner into the championship four. So that's big for him. So hopefully, I mean, I, like I said, I wouldn't mind if he won the whole championship because like I said, he should have won it last year. So this should be a good makeup year if he does win it. Um, but there is another driver who I think deserves it a little bit more out of the other three. And that is going to be this guy right here. I think Tyler Reddick should win the championship. He won the regular season this year. Um, I was at Talladega, his first win of the season, when Michael McDowell decided to go low and try and block Brad Keselowski, but ultimately lost control of the car and wrecked everybody behind him. And then Reddick got in front and ended up winning the race. So I think Reddick deserves it. He's won three races this year. Uh, just like Byron, but he had better finishes and the more points, like I said. So I think Tyler Reddick uh, should win the championship. If not, I'm going to have to go with Byron just because he should have won it last year. Um, another guy who just won Martinsville, back-to-back, -back, Ryan Blaney, the uh, defending champion, is back in the championship four. He didn't win Phoenix last year. Ross Chastain did, as a matter of fact. There it is. Ross Chastain's Phoenix win. So, I don't know. I think Blaney... I, I don't want to... I like Blaney a lot, but I don't think he should win the championship again. Um, like I said, I mean, I know he won two races, three races. Oh, jeez, all these guys won three races, didn't they? Raddick won three, Byron won three, and Blaney won three. Blaney won uh, Iowa, Pocono, and Martinsville. So, huh, that's weird. I just realized that. They all won three races. And Logano won two races i think how many did logano win he won the all-star um all-star nashville las vegas the all-star doesn't count so and atlanta right atlanta nashville and las vegas three wins because he won in the auto trader car at atlanta he won in the Pennzoil car in Las Vegas. Not this one, the other Pennzoil one. And then he won in this one at, um, what did I just say? Nashville? Was it Nashville? Nashville, Vegas, and Atlanta. What the fuck? Is it? They all won three races. That's weird. I just, that's interesting. Doesn't defeat the fact I still think Reddick deserves it because of the regular season he's had and the best finishes and all that. So, I don't know. You guys tell me who you think's going to win the championship. And that's guess that's about it for this video. I just wanted to review the Hendrick Motorsports cars and you know give you my thoughts on them. They look sweet, and I can't wait for the 124, 123 set with the raced versions of them. So that's gonna be cool. And um, yeah, this is it. Till uh, next time. Thank you guys for watching.